So tonight I've got the Nexstar Ada C on the Advanced VX mount, and I'm going after M15, which is a globular cluster. We've got a one day after full moon, so no nebulae or galaxies tonight, but uh, I'm shooting this pretty cool globular cluster in the uh, Pegasus constellation. And it's pretty neat. Um, you know, globular clusters are always something really fun to look at visually in the scope. You can go through different magnifications and, you know, try to resolve as many stars as you can. And it's just really fun. And this object's pretty cool. It's it's one of the few globular clusters that ha actually has a, a planetary nebula documented inside of it. So that's just a neat tidbit of information about it. But, um... Yeah, I'm also trying something different tonight. I've got the ISO set really low, down to 400, and I'm doing 60 second exposures, and my idea behind this is to hopefully resolve more color in the um, in the globular cluster. A lot of the times when I shoot them, I, the stars just all turn out pretty much white, and um, the core is kind of blown out a little bit. So hopefully this time uh, we'll get the core a little bit more resolved and also hopefully have some more color definition with all of the stars. So uh, we'll take a look at my guiding and uh, some of the exposures that are coming through. Uh, this is after the uh, second exposure I just took. So you can see the guiding's quite well tonight with the next star A to C on the advanced VX mount. Um, you know, as long as you really work to balance the scope and, you know, focus uh, the guide scope as, as well as you can and stuff, it, it, it guides pretty well even with that uh, large telescope on the uh, on the mount so uh, yeah. so here's a look at uh, M15 one of the subs I got this was a 60 second exposure at ISO 400 so a really low ISO and hopefully we can get a lot of the coloration in these stars but you can see the uh, subs turned out quite nice um, pretty good tracking stars are quite pinpoint so uh, pretty happy with this uh, result so we'll end up uh, stacking this. I'm going to take some brand new darks, brand new flats tonight, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. It's kind of an experiment with this different ISO, so it should be pretty cool. But you can just see this is a really cool uh, globular cluster. It's just a, a neat little object up there in the sky. I've always enjoyed uh, hunting down globular clusters. They're just a lot of fun.